Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, as I reported earlier during our live broadcast, Hurricane Irma is now a Category 5. And folks, it's increasing. There's no such thing as a Category 6 or Category 7. But if Irma continues to progress the way it is progressing, it will be just that, a super-duper hurricane of a biblical proportion. Now, it's headed, I've been checking some of the uh, different satellite images and models. Uh, uh, Vintage Sky is showing that by September 9th, September 10th, Hurricane Irma, uh, Hurricane Irma will hit right there at Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. And then this one coming behind it uh, is, is going to turn into a monster and is following behind, coming off the coast of Africa right now. So we got two, and then there's the storm collection down in the Gulf that we don't know what that's going to do. But it looks, and here's another thing. Hurricane Irma is not only going to hit right at the tip of Florida there, Miami Beach, Miami, uh, and Fort Lauderdale, but it's going to cut across the state, and then there it's going to be in the Gulf. And then it's going to reorganize. There's just no doubt. Now, will it turn on up to Pensacola? Maybe. Now, unless, unless it takes a wild right turn, all of a sudden, this thing is headed for Florida. And so I want to be sure... To get this out there, we are praying for everybody down there in that area. This You have time. Today is September 5th. It's going to get there in about four to five days. Now, I was just checking. I was just looking in uh, the Walmarts and some of the stores in Miami running out of water. I just saw a video where an announcement came over to Intercom. Attention shoppers, we are out of water. It was in a Walmart. The, the aisle was jammed with people. I mean, I'm talking folks. There had to have been 500 people that, with carts in line waiting, trying to get supplies. They're cleaning out the shelves out there. And then I went and looked at a gas station. They're literally unbelievable. They're standing with containers to fill up you know, gas. Uh, it's getting kind of ugly now. Uh, with Hurricane Irma now nearing the northern Leeward Islands, At a Category 5, we need to pray for the people at Leeward Islands. They're in the direct path of a monster. And also, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands are in the path of this huge, mega, mega hurricane, which may become a super duper. We'll see. Irma will target the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, after hitting the uh, Leeward Islands, uh, by Thursday, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands are going to get hit. Uh, the Bahamas are going to feel some of this. Cuba is going to get some of this. But it's headed toward directly toward Florida Peninsula. This is a dangerous hurricane. So uh, Governor Rick Scott has already last night declared Florida a state of emergency. And people, please, Take precautions. Take precautions down there. Now, we're praying for everybody in Florida. We're praying for all the people in Puerto Rico and for those of you in Leeward Islands and in the Virgin Islands and the Bahamas and the folks in Cuba and everyone else along the way. We're praying for all of you. But meanwhile, we've got another storm behind that. And this thing is is gaining steam and is going to get big. Already, Irma's maximum sustained winds have hit 185 miles an hour based on information from NOAA and Air Force Hurricane Hunter aircraft. Based on this wind speed, Irma is now the strongest Atlantic hurricane since Hurricane Wilma in 2005, which had a maximum speed of 185. So right now, Hurricane Irma is is the same size as Wilma, but Irma is going to get bigger. And so this is unbelievable, folks. And uh, and now you look at the situation. It's September 5th. On August 21st, we had the total solar eclipse. In 15 days, 
We're in a 40-day period of repentance, as, as it was in the days of Jonah, the preaching, the sign of Jonah, which was also a total solar eclipse, also on the first day of Elu, of the 40 days of repentance. And here we are, only 15 days in, and we have a second major mammoth hurricane coming, one behind it. We don't know what it's going to do. Something trying to form a, a 70% chance we're going to have a cyclone form in the Gulf right now that's off the coast of Mexico. We don't know what it's going to do. And Kim Jong-un detonating nuclear bombs underground, causing a 6.3 hurricane and threatening to fire off more missiles. He's already fired three. Then he fired one across the entire island nation of Japan. He detonates a, a hydrogen bomb of 120 kilograms. All of this in 15 days since the eclipse. What? Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Now, church, you have no fear. Christians all along Florida, I'm telling you, God's got you covered. We're covered by the blood. We're believing the Lord. We need you to take precautions. We need you to be stay safe. Some of you need to evacuate. You got to get out of there. If you can't, please find shelter. Understand you're dealing with a dangerous situation. And uh, we're, our prayers are going out. I'm praying this thing still hangs aright. I'm praying it still turns right. But look, we got to be real here. This thing is real, okay? And so we're in the last days, and I'm praying, guys, the 40 days of repentance, the 40 days, this was a warning, really, that these issues were coming, these, these events were coming. And we're not even to the September 23rd constellation yet. On 9-11, are we going to have a hurricane tearing things apart? Well, it's supposed to get to Florida about September 9th, and 10th.